All right, man, as a sneakerhead, you always have a favorite sneaker. If you're a real sneakerhead, you know your favorite sneakers fluctuate monthly. One month, this is your favorite sneaker. Next month, that's your favorite sneaker. And we always have that all-time favorite sneaker. Well, damn. Welcome to my all-time favorite sneaker. The Air Jordan 3 Black Cement. Looks good. Let's talk. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go down. It's your boy AB and welcome to my channel. And on this channel, we review sneakers. This is a very special sneaker. You can't really beat a classic like this sneaker right here. But before we get into that, if you return to this channel, I just want to take a second to say thank you for trusting me with your time. And if you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Your boy appreciates it. Costs nothing to you, means everything to me. Thank you for trusting me with your time. And now let's get into why you clicked on this video. Bam! Air Jordan 3, black cement, first drop 1988. One of the top dogs, but the sneakers retroed a couple of times. The sneakers retroed back in 94, 01, 2008, also 2011. And it definitely dropped in 2018 on your boy, Michael Jeffrey Jordan's birthday, which was February 17th, but it dropped in 2018. Not that he was born in 2018. Bam! Retail on this sneaker was actually $200 at the time of this release. Throughout time, it's actually fluctuated. We all know that. But in 2018, when this sneaker dropped, it was definitely 200 bones. With that being said, if you want a pair of these today, you can grab one from GOAT, maybe StockX if they're selling you the real deal. And you can get those for somewhere around 500 bones, man. $515 to be exact in my size, which is a size 10 and a half. This is a real solid sneaker, man. This has got to be one of the all-time greats. I always fluctuate on which one's my favorite sneaker. And throughout this channel, you're going to hear me say, this is my favorite, this is my favorite, but that's just sneakerhead antics. You know, your boy is just a sneakerhead. We do these things. If you're not a sneakerhead, but you're a casual sneaker lover, you kind of know what I'm talking about. But if you're a sneakerhead, you know what your boy is talking about. And this is one of those sneakers. It's up there. It's one of the greats. Every time it comes around, it's a sellout. These are masterpieces. And with that being said, let's start off with the colorway of this sneaker. So the colorway is going to be a black with that cement gray. You got some white hints on there and then you get a splash of that fire red. Splash of that fire red. Looks good. Looks real good. I think the fire red is just that, mm, that accent that mm, Tinker said, mm, I'm cold. Just like that. Mm, I'm cold. <laughs> the upper portion of the sneaker. Damn! Upper portion of the sneaker is this tumble black leather and this tumble is tumbling. It feels good. You get a slap of this straight cut leather that goes all the way around the sneaker, goes all the way around, and it feels good, looks good. You also get the bam, the famous elephant print here at the heel cup, as well as at the toe, looks good. Both look good and feel good. Then you get the perforated gray hits of leather here at the upper mid portion of the sneaker, as well as the collar. And they all feel good, they all feel strong. Bam, on the back of the sneaker, you get this strong leather here at the heel cup, and it feels good. Looks good, feels good. The shape of the sneaker is just on point. And you can just tell that this all looks good. This sneaker is one of the perfect sneakers. Perfect. And it's no wonder it's one of the all time greats. Did I mention the red eyelets? Yeah. Red eyelets, just a splash right here. Red eyelets, looks good. Looks real good. Strong, boom, real strong. <laughs> The tongue of the sneaker. Bam! Tongue of the sneaker looks good. No complaints. The cut is perfect. perfect. Looks really good. You get that red Jumpman, fire red Jumpman right there in the middle. When we see this, we all know it's a Jordan 3. There's no mistake about it. When you see this, you think Jordan 3 all day long. All day long. And it looks good, man. No complaints here. You got a solid piece of leather up top. And then down low, when it comes to the mid portion here, you get that perforated leather in the mid section here of the tongue for breathability. Breathability. <laughs> but it all looks good, man. It looks real good. There's no complaints about the tongue. On the back of the tongue, bam! Back of the tongue is it's Jordan 3, man. And you get this red, fire red colorway back here. It's on that merino wool. You don't know about that merino wool, but you get that merino wool. Feels good. The merino wool also goes along the sock liner as well, in case you were wondering, but it's in that gray color. But we're talking about the tongue right now. Let's switch to the laces, though. Bam! Flat black laces. Looks good. No complaints. It's the standard 88 type of thing in 88 you was getting flat laces they look good no complaints about them i mean it's standard how do you mess that up right right the back of the sneaker bam! 
damn! Back of the sneaker looks good, nice and narrow, just the way we like it. It looks good, has an excellent shape to it. You get the Nike Air on the back, looks really good, no complaints there. And that white Nike lettering, that white color blocking. It looks good, looks real good. Size of the cup for the elephant print looks good. No complaints here. It looks pretty proportionate. Everything about the sneaker looks proportionate. It looks good, no complaints. No complaints. The toe box of the sneaker, bam! Toe box looks good. No complaints here at all. Look at the cut. The cut is amazing. Cut looks excellent. There's no, bam! problems with that cut is perfect. perfect perfect looks good that elephant print looks good that cut looks good shape looks good they did an amazing job with this sneaker they did an amazing job with that toe box i will say there's a little bit of xx glue you may not be able to see the excess glue nike's qc and you know the qc and on these joints you know how it gets this varies from time to time but outside of that dope sneaker dope toe box area the toe box is on par and on point it looks good midsole of the sneaker bam midsole looks good no complaints here it's that polyurethane midsole jordan 3 midsole standard midsole with the air bubble looks good and you can't see any of the brush marks which is always favorable sometimes you can get that on these sneakers and it doesn't look too good but this midsole is nice and strong no complaints about it jordan 3 midsole it's perfect it looks good outsole of the sneaker bam you got that standard jordan 3 outsole and it looks good no complaints here looks good the cement gray fire red and white colorway on there looks good there's no complaints here it's just that standard it's grippy you've got a lot of those uh stars on there mm, looks good look at that look at that contrast <whistles> did a good job man you could definitely hoop in these all day they, these are all right right here these are strong these are strong right here the insole of the sneaker Damn! insole looks good you've got the red marina wool material on there which feels good it's in that fire red colorway and you've got the nike air in black font there it looks good looks real good it did an excellent job nice and thick I mean, as thick as you can really get for a, a Jordan insole, right? Without it being polyurethane. It's not as uh, thick as the 11s, but it's definitely thicker than the ones. Looks good, no complaints, right? The inside stitch of the sneaker looks good. Stitching is nice and tight, just the way we like it. Looks good. No complaints here on that. I mean, this sneaker is not going to fall apart on you. They did an amazing job on this. They did an amazing job, period. And everything in there is on par. Everything is taped down. It looks good, strong. This is professionalism at its finest. How comfortable is this sneaker? Sneaker is Jordan 3 comfortable. If you've ever worn a Jordan 3 before in your life, this feels exactly the same. No differences there. It is true to size. I like mine a little bit loose, so I do keep the laces a little loose and keep them street sweepers hanging, but it's good. Everything on it is good, nice and comfortable and strong. You could definitely hoop in the sneaker. That's how strong the outsole, midsole, insole is. I mean, it's all, it's stacked. It's strong. Good sneaker, very comfortable. It's a, it's a 10 for comfortability. Mm, maybe a nine, because it doesn't have, nah, it's a 10 because it's strong, but maybe it's a nine as far as like, if you want to be like walking on pillows, you don't get that feeling, but it's a nice comfort comfortable comfortable walk what do i rate this sneaker on the a b spectrum i'm gonna go ahead and rate this sneaker a 10 man this sneaker's a 10 materials on it is strong the leather on it feels good the cuts of the elephant print is on point feeling of this sneaker the midsole strength of this sneaker stitching everything about it is on point it's very dope I will give it a 10. Though it failed the black light test, I will give this nigga a 10. Just reference. It should be a 9, but I'm going to give it a 10 because it's one of my favorites. It's one of my all-time favorites. It's on the list. It's a classical. You can't really miss with this sneaker on foot. Period. And with that being said, man, hey, man, I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. It's your boy, AB, man. If you want to follow your boy on a different platform, you can hit me on Instagram at ABHTXX. And on there, your boy posts photos and videos of sneakers that I reviewed and sneakers that I'm about to review. Also, jump into the Discord, man. Any questions you may have about the sneakers that I review, hey, jump in the Discord, ask your questions. Your boy right here going to answer your question. If I don't get to it in time, I apologize. There's a lot in there. However, I always get to all my folks in there. If I don't answer, the familiar will answer. The family will answer. 
definitely team AB will be on the scene in there to answer your questions. And I'll be there to go ahead and give you extra feedback on top of that. While you're in the Discord, go ahead, take a picture of one of your favorite sneakers on feet, post it in the Discord. Your boy's gonna snatch that photo and put it in his next video. Have your feet on my channel. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, it's good vibes only. In this studio, on this channel, it's good vibes only. And if the sneaker looks good, if the sneaker looks this good, bam! Amen, 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 amen. Wear it, you know what I'm saying? It's your boy AB, man. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna holla at you, all right? Nate.